Isn't that right, Mario? Yep. <laughs> on a mission to find my bearings, on a coffee-fueled adventure to understand, help and explore as much as I physically can. With a little bit of talking, a healthy amount of movement, my name is Danny Aldridge. Skating is my life and this is my point. Yo guys, welcome back to Danny's Point. Today is all about sliding to a stop. I'm going to share with you guys some of my most important and some of my best tips for sliding. Watch out some people there, Greg. And I'm going to hopefully pass that across to you guys. I've got my friend Pasquale with me. He's going to help me with some of the demonstrations because I really want to focus on the talking and explaining how you guys can slide. Okay, so with that said, let's get started. Um, so before we get started today, guys, I want to talk to you about some of the basics and some of the safety. Um, I know I'm never a very good example of wearing safety equipment, but I do advise you wear a helmet, elbow pads, wrist guards, and knee pads. Shin pads if you want to, but um, it's not essential when sliding. The next thing, the basics, is your skates. You want to make sure, obviously, you've got a set of skates on to learn how to slide on skates. You want to make sure that you've got a nice set of wheels on your skates. Anything 85A and above. 85A is a hardness. Anything 85A and above is good for sliding. But that doesn't mean anything softer won't slide. It just makes it a little bit harder. And it doesn't matter if you're doing four wheels or three wheels, even five wheels. It doesn't matter how many wheels you've got. They all slide the same. It's just a tiny bit different, but you'll figure that out as you go along. Um, with that said, I think that's about it. Anything else? Oh yes, location. Um, location is very, very important. As you can see today, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be in the sun, but it does have to be dry. You want to find somewhere out of the way, not too many people, and with a nice, smooth floor. Um, I think that covers it. Let's move on. So, like I said, I've got Pasquale with me here today. This is Pasquale, and he's going to be helping me with some of the demonstrations so I can focus more on some of the explanations. Um, the first slide that I want to teach you guys today is the power slide. It's a really, really good one to stop quickly if you need to in emergencies and stuff like that. And it's one of the more simpler ones to learn. So it's quite simple to get started. All you need to do for the power slide, skate in a straight direction, turn 180, so like that. And then once you are turning backwards, you take your right or your left leg, put it behind you like that at a 45 degree angle, and then you'll come to a nice slow stop. But you wanna make sure that you're putting a lot of weight into this foot and into the angle as you're stopping. And that's how you do the power slide. I think that's about it. Are you ready to uh, give that one a demonstration, Mario, to the sure. guys at home and see if my uh, explanation actually works? So he takes some speed, skates along, turns 180, puts his foot out and brakes and comes to a stop. Awesome. There's one thing I didn't mention there. As you saw, as he was going backwards, he was looking over his shoulder like this, okay? The most important thing when you're going to do the power side is once you turn 180, you always want to make sure you're looking over this shoulder, or if you turn 180 this way, it's that way. The last thing you want to do is be swapping shoulders and looking in different directions. You want to get that nice and smooth. Awesome, that's the power side. It's that easy. So now we're going to move on to the more advanced slide, the parallel slide. Do forgive me if I say parallel a bit funny. Um, I've got fake teeth and sometimes it's blah, 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 blah. I can't say it properly. But moving on, the parallel slide, we're going to break it down into two main sections. First section is you want to work on your turn. It's that simple. So all you do first of all to work on the power side is you want to turn like this going along, making sure that you stay in a nice solid position. This is really, really important to learning how to parallel slide, okay? To keep your body really, really still. A good friend of mine, Rui Vieira, calls this the chair, okay? So that's what I want you guys to do is turn, but act like you're in a chair, put a lot of weight into your outside foot, but at the same time, your inside foot as well. But this is mainly to get the outside foot to start to slide. Mario, you got all that? Yep. Show us a little demonstration then, please. So he's going to get some speed, he's going to start to turn, and you can see all of his weight's going to the outside foot, and if you can see or hear, his foot is actually sliding. Wicked. So now this is where we really need to start to concentrate. So we just learned then how to slide with the outside foot. We've also got to slide with our inside foot as well, okay? Um, the reason why a lot of aggressive skaters are good at this is because it's similar to a grind, because you have to bone your feet over a little bit, angle both of them, okay? So like I was saying, the turn that we did before was angling the front foot, getting used to us sliding on the front foot. But now for the parallel side, may I just hold your shoulder? 
we need to be like this. And so we slide parallel. So you need to now work on the inside foot. The way to do this without going straight into a power slide, a, power, a parallel slide, I told you I had trouble with that word, is once you skate along, all I want you to do is move your right or your left foot like this, angle it, put a bit of weight into it and just getting used to your foot sliding a little bit along the floor in this direction, in this movement, okay? So that's like the inside angle of your power slide, sorry, your parallel slide. You can try it with both feet. Just first of all, do it on the floor. Like what feels more comfortable, like this or like this? Bearing in mind that you've got to think about your outside foot as well, okay? So all I want you guys to do, go along nice and slow, moderate speed, knees bent again, and as you start to turn to the right or the left, use your inside leg, you put a lot of weight into your heel and the outside and try and turn it and slide it a bit along the floor quite hard to understand. This is why Mario is going to show you a little demonstration after you, Mario. So he's going to take a little bit of speed, start to turn, push his foot, and as you saw, all of his weight came in onto his heel and his outside. Now you're getting used to the inside leg turning. And, and again, practice, 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 practice that until you get it perfect, okay? Cool. So that's the two sections of the parallel slide broken down. Mario, how was that? Fine and easy. Nice, fine and easy. And now we want to add them together to hopefully come up with the parallel slide. A couple of tips from me about the parallel slide. Obviously it's all about angles. This is what I've been trying to show you guys the whole time is angling your feet into the slide. It's all about force as well. So obviously if you're skating along with a lot of speed and you turn your legs like this, if you're like that, you're going to snap straight over and fall on your face. You want to make sure that you're leaning right back and the most important thing with this again is practice, 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 and make sure you feel like your wheels, you feel the energy, you feel the force. It's all about feeling this one, okay guys? So Mario, are you ready to try and give this one a go? Feel the force, get yep. the parallel slide done. Cool, take it away. So he's gonna take a lot of speed and he's gonna slowly carve into a turn and then into a slide. Boom, both feet inside, outside, lovely stuff. Mario, that was absolutely beautiful take a lot of speed and he's going to start to turn and to slide on the inside and the outside and you see he's leaning right over comes to a very very nice stop good so that was the parallel slide i hope that all made sense to you guys um, a couple of other little things my most important tips about doing parallel slides first one is when you're turning into the slide you never want to do a really sudden turn to slide you want to gradually turn it in to slide it makes it a lot easier the other thing i was talking about earlier is the power the force, the way you lean, how you feel the angle of yourself sliding. I, I can't stress this enough. You really have to think about this and you really have to feel it and think. Feel and think and keep repeating, repeating, repeating. You're never gonna get good at sliding and stopping unless you keep practicing a lot. Guys, I hope that helps. Take care for another Danny's Point. Peace out, take it easy. <laughs>